Hi everyone, I'm Nadia and in today's video I'm making a black and silver resin tray. The first thing I'm doing is mixing my part A and part B resin together for a few minutes and once it's mixed well I start to pour it into separate cups to add in my pigments. I like to reuse these paper cups because the old resin doesn't flake off of the cup so while you're mixing you don't have to worry about leftover resin pieces. As usual, I'll have Amazon product links in the description, so if you're interested, please check that out. The first pigment I'm going to be using is this black pigment by Resin Pro. I shake the bottle first before I add a couple drops into my cup of resin. Next, I'm adding Depon's Nighthawk Black Pearl, which is a mica powder, into my second cup. And now I'll be adding in what will be my center detail for the tray. So I have a small cup of clear resin and first I'm going to be adding in some silver flakes. Next I'm also going to be adding in these small crushed mirror pieces. Now I start pouring the Black Resin Pro Pigmented Resin around the edges of the mold. And last minute, I decided to add in a silver metallic powder, so I separated a small amount of resin into a separate cup to add that in as well. Once that's mixed in well, I pour it right alongside where I previously poured my black pigmented resin. Then I take my black mica powder pigmented resin and circle around the mold several times. And I take clear resin and pour it directly into the center. I use a torch gun to pop any air bubbles and I'm moving it in a quick motion so that I don't burn my resin or my mold. Now I start adding in my center detail and I carefully and slowly pour it into the center. I decided to go around the mold once more with some leftover black pigmented resin, although I had very little left so it came out more in dots. To help the pigmented resin move more towards the center of the mold, I briefly used a heat gun on the low setting. And with my leftover black mica powder, I circled a few more times around the mold. Now I'm done pouring, so I carefully place my handles into the mold so that the resin cures and keeps them in place.
and here I am demolding the next day. I'm going to be adding a top coat, so I'm going to be preparing my tray for that. The first thing I do is pour some liquid latex into a cup and pour it around the edges of the bottom of the tray. This is because I'm going to be doing a flood coat, so any resin that pours off of the tray will cure onto the liquid latex and easily come off the next day. After I've poured the liquid latex using a silicone makeup brush, I use it to help spread the latex to the very edge of the tray. Once the liquid latex has dried, I flip my tray over and start mixing my resin to do my top coat. I pour the resin near the center of the tray and again using a silicone makeup brush, I use it to help spread the resin to the very edge. I come back the next day and remove the liquid latex. There are only a few drops that dripped over the tray and if they don't come off immediately with the liquid latex, I'm able to very easily remove them with an X-Acto knife. And with a silver adding marker, I add a silver trim. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.